All right, in this tutorial, I'll be going over the process of creating your normal map, specular, and ambient occlusion, all from a single diffuse texture, like I have in front of me. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to make sure my diffuse texture is selected. Control A, and then I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. So let me just close this. And my program of choice is Crazy Bump. And this is going to easily allow me to generate my normal maps and all that straight from a texture. So I'm just going to paste it from my clipboard. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, right now it's just processing the data. And all right, it's going to tell us to select a shape. Do we want the detail to stick in? which is right here, or do we want the detail to stick out? For this, I'm going to have the detail stick in. So, here's our little preview window. So I'm just going to change this to a box, but you can load your own mesh. So, to change it to a box. Right now, it's pretty glossy which is something we don't really want. So I might adjust this down to 32, my intensity. Sorry about that. There we go. Um, that looks about fine. Take our occlusion. I'm going to enhance it and then probably take down the power maybe. Zoom in so we can Set it to probably 40, and then I'm going to go over to my specular right here. I'm going to enhance the detail, bring down the contrast. Maybe bring up the contrast, but bring down the brightness. Altitude. It's a little too bright, so I think uh, 30 will do. It's nice and subtle. Got those nice. Oh, no, we don't have those lines there. So maybe 33. Yeah, there we go. So now I'm going to save my maps out. So for this, we have we can copy it to clipboard. We can save it specifically, or we can save all textures. For this, I'm just going to copy to clipboard. Make things easier on me. Go back into Photoshop and then paste. Rename my layer. Oops. To spec. So I'm just going to do a double window here. Go to my normals and close this out. Save, copy. Do here. Paste it in. Normals. And then our occlusion mask. So actually, I don't really like that. Probably 94. That'll do. And then I'm going to copy to clipboard. And then I can exit. So bring this up. Alright, so I'm just going to pause the video for a sec. Alright, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to multiply our ambient occlusion so it overlays. <laughs> so we notice we have this, this detail coming through around the edges. I'll probably set it to around 50. And then we can save out our map. So in order for this to go in game, we need to save it as a uh, D3D slash DDS. And what I'm going to call this is my sword name plus my diffuse. So I know what to call, so I know how to, what it is. 
and then we're going to get a window that pops up. So for this texture, since I don't have an alpha, or I don't have an alpha channel on it, so I'm just going to go save it as uh, DXT1, uh, as it says, no alpha. I'm just going to leave the settings the way they are, then just hit save. All right, so now that that's saved, we can do our environment mask. So our environment mask is a copy. I'm just going to copy our specular. Call it environment. So what this is used for is where, where on the object it's reflective. So I'm just going to go there. I'm going to paint. I'm just going to paint over. So I'm just going to do a uh, quick mask. I'm just going to lasso. So I don't want the handle to be reflective, so I'm going to do that. Whoops, not that. There we go. So oops. just undo that a couple times. There we go. We have no more way line. All right, so this gets saved out as a separate file. File, save as. Save it as a DDS. Now we can Oops. environment then we're going to save it as a DXT1 again because there's no alpha so we're just going to rinse and repeat except for the normals we're going to do something different so in our normal <clears throat> we need to combine our spec so control A copy so I'm going to go into my normals, and I'm going to go over to the channels. I'm going to create a new layer, which is going to create our alpha, and then I'm going to paste it in. So now we have, as you can tell, we have this mask over it. So for this one, this one needs to be done this way, because you, the speculars read from the normal map. So I'm just going to go like that, do that normal. I'm just going to save. Now we need to change one setting in here, which is right here. Since we do have an alpha, we need to go DXT5. It's going to interpolate the alpha. And then we can save. Alright, so that's all done. And this concludes our first part of this tutorial. Alright, thank you for watching.